Consciousness Explained by Daniel C. Dennett is an ambitious attempt to dissect and explain the phenomenon of consciousness through a scientific and philosophical lens. Dennett challenges traditional views and theories of consciousness, proposing instead that our conscious experience is not a single cohesive narrative, but a complex system of various brain processes that collectively create the illusion of a unified self. Dennett begins by taking aim at the Cartesian theater model, the idea that there is a central place in the brain where it all comes together and where a homunculus, a little observer within the mind, watches and experiences events. He argues that this model is fundamentally flawed as it simply pushes the problem of consciousness back a step, requiring an explanation of the consciousness of the homunculus itself. To replace the Cartesian theater, Dennett introduces the multiple drafts model of consciousness. The central thesis here is that there is no single place or moment where conscious experience occurs. Instead, multiple versions of events are processed in parallel throughout various brain regions. Our brains then edit and refine this information in a series of drafts, eventually resulting in the experience we recognize as conscious thought. In the multiple drafts model, Dennett emphasizes the role of fame in the brain, where certain thoughts, sensations, or information become dominant in our conscious experience because they win a competition for attention. This model suggests that rather than a linear stream, conscious thought is the culmination of numerous competing narratives occurring within the mind at any given time, with none of them being the definitive version of events. Dennett tackles the concept of qualia, the subjective feeling of experiences, like the redness of red or the bitterness of bitterness. He argues that qualia are not ineffable, intrinsic properties of our experiences, but rather constructed narratives that we can examine and analyze. Dennett uses the example of color vision to dismantle the concept of qualia, suggesting that our experience of colors is an interpretation by the brain rather than a direct experience of objective reality. The author also scrutinizes the notion of the self, proposing that there is no single permanent I within the brain. Instead, the self is a center of narrative gravity, a convenient fiction that summarizes the various physical and mental processes at work in an individual. Our sense of being a continuous and coherent self is described as the result of narrative structures that our brains create to make sense of the chaos of experience. Dennett looks to computational and psychological models to further describe the functioning of consciousness. He discusses how parallel processing, the way computers handle complex tasks by distributing them across multiple processors, can serve as a model for understanding the brain's handling of consciousness. He also talks about the importance of memory and how our recollection of events can be actively rewritten by our minds, affecting our present experience of consciousness. Drawing on evolutionary theory, Dennett suggests that consciousness, like other biological phenomena, is the product of natural selection. It is an adaptation that has evolved to help humans navigate and manipulate their environments effectively. By creating a narrative and simulating possible futures, consciousness allows for better prediction and planning, which have clear survival advantages. A significant contribution of Dennett's book is his challenge to the introspective method, he is skeptical of the reliability of first-person reports on consciousness, proposing that third-person objective observation and empirical study are the best tools we have to understand consciousness. He insists that subjective experiences can be scientifically studied by connecting them to observable behavior and brain processes. In later sections of the book, Dennett dives into the topic of artificial intelligence, AI, and the possibility of machine consciousness. He argues that if AI systems were complex enough to replicate the processes occurring in the human brain, they too could give rise to conscious experiences. The criteria for consciousness, he suggests, are not dependent on the material substrate, biological or silicon, but on the complexity and organization of processing. Dennett closes by acknowledging the ambitious scope of his project. He calls for a radical overhaul of our common sense notions about consciousness and asserts that through a combination of cognitive science, neuroscience, philosophy, and psychology, we can come to a more comprehensive understanding of consciousness. 
By foregoing traditional ideas about the self, qualia, and the nature of subjective experience, Dennett believes we can describe consciousness in a way that is consistent with our understanding of the physical world. Overall, Consciousness Explained is Dennett's manifesto for a science of consciousness that avoids the pitfalls of dualism and reductionism. Through the multiple drafts model and the deconstruction of traditional philosophical positions, Dennett aims to show that consciousness is not an impenetrable mystery, but a fascinating and complex biological process that can be understood and explained. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.